I know I'm about to shit my pants. I'm trying to find a bathroom right now. Okay. And by the way, I wiped it with my finger, no toilet paper the other day. Game changer. What? So today I got to drive the all new Model Y from Tesla. These start at 52,000, which is not cheap, but it's a pretty incredible product. It really is an experience. Like these are an experience. Deceptively, extraordinarily fast. Like you cannot believe that you're going this fast and uh, you don't hear it. This has an all glass roof, which is a, a cool feature. and. If you're familiar with Teslas, you know that like technologically, pretty advanced. There is no key. Your phone is the key. So you know how you always leave your house and you grab your phone and your wallet and your key? That's it, your phone. So you walk up and you can open the door. The car starts because you have your phone on you. The self-driving is, is unbelievable. Even the little details like with air conditioning, you just touch that massive, what looks like an oversized iPad. And with your hand, you just kind of stretch and open like you're looking at a photo on, a, on, a, on an iPad. That's how you make the air conditioning uh, point up or down. And it's just little details like that where you're like, you know, I'm not used to seeing this in any other car. You can't help but think like you're in the, the future when you're driving these. If you don't have one, you're like, I know I'm going to be in something like this at some point. I've stayed in every category of lodging available. I have stayed in the best hotels and the worst motels. I've stayed in comedy condos, which for people that don't know when you do stand up, especially when you're starting out, a lot of times the club will own an apartment or condo in the city that the club's in. And then they make the comedians stay there so that they don't have to pay for hotels. And it is usually a disgusting, I mean, absolutely revolting place. You wouldn't put your worst enemy in some of these places. They're so nasty. One time I got picked up at the airport by the manager of the club and he goes, uh, yeah, we're going to the condo and I go cool. How is it? He's like we cleaned it, but um He's like we had to do an extra cleaning. So right away. You're like you had to do an extra cleaning. What are you talking about? He's like well The guy who stayed there last week he trimmed his pubes in the sink So we didn't catch that the first time so we had to send someone to clean it again. And I was like Is it clean now? And he goes, yeah. And I go, then why'd you tell me? Why would you tell me that? He's like, what do you mean? I go, I didn't know it. And now every time I brush my teeth or wash my hands, I'm going to think about that asshole trimming his pubes in the sink. And he's like, yeah, I didn't really think of that before I told you. Another time I stayed in a condo, the guy was like, hey, do me a favor. Like, keep it together. Like, behave yourself. And I go, what are you talking about? You know, with the partying and everything, I go, yeah, I don't really party, man. It's not really a concern. And he goes, you don't party. And I go, I mean, not where you need to warn me to keep it under control. He's like, well, we had a guy in here and he, uh, he shit and he puked and he shit on the walls. I was like, he shit on the walls. He goes, yeah. And I go, who? Who the fuck shit and puked on the walls? And he goes, Bert Kreischer. And I go, Bert Kreischer had diarrhea on the walls and vomit and he was like yeah he's a fucking animal i should call him right now and see if he will remember this hey, hey do you remember that for a while the clubs were saying that you had shit and puked all over the walls at that comedy condo cincinnati funny bone yeah <laughs> yeah why did you do that i didn't do it I didn't do it. I didn't tip the wait the guy who the doorman who cleaned up and he was angry, and so he went in and said, "Oh, this guy must have shit all over the place and thrown up on the walls." Yeah. And they didn't, they didn't even give me the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, because when the next when I stayed there, they were like, "Keep it c together, you know, don't puke and shit on the walls." I was like, "What the fuck?" They think it was either that the guy I didn't tip the guy or that a homeless person broke in to the thing and just shit all over the walls and puked everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 
I was like, what a fucking... And no one, no one called to be like, hey, are you, uh, are you feeling okay? Are you feeling like, you throw up on the walls and shit on the bed? And I was like, no. I was like, I mean, I know Bert drinks, but I didn't think it was like that. Dude, I got such a bad rap for that for the longest time. What's his name? Sent out a, a mass email to all the club owners, like, just giving you a heads up. Christ, here's a funny comic, but he destroys condos. He shits <laughs> on the bed and throws up on the walls. <laughs> by the way, I'm about to shit my pants. I'm trying to find a bathroom right now. Okay. And by the way, I wiped with my finger, no toilet paper the other day. Game changer. What? Dude, game changer. I was stuck in a RV park and they had no toilet paper and I had already shit. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to have to do it like East Asian style. And so I turned the sink on and I got my finger wet. I wiped. I didn't look. Ran my finger in the, I'm like, just went back and forth, finger into the water, and then back in. Dude, game changer. It was the best wipe I've ever had in my life. You're wiping your ass barehanded now? Just with no, your hands? Not all the time, but some, like, sometimes it's convenient. Only Burr could be like, of course I wasn't the guy that puked on the walls and shit the bed and then moments he's like I'm not I mean I'm not an animal hey I just started wiping my own ass barehanded without toilet paper now it's a game changer yeah